Okay, focus on our minds, focus on the breath. As for everything else right now, just let it go past, past, past. The world spins around, but you don't want your mind to spin around with it. The ways of the world keep changing back and forth. There's gain, loss, status, loss of status, there's praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. And if you run after these things, well, they spin around, so you're going to be spinning around too. We may, may not think that we're running after criticism or running after loss, but we do. When you're running after what we think are the positive things, the other things come in their train. We've got to keep the mind in the middle, and as these things come, as they might come past on a merry-go-round, you decide, okay, is there any use for this? If not, just let it pass. But it turns out there's a proper use for all these things. When gain comes, okay, you want to use it for your genuine good and for the good of the people around you. In other words, you want to get some merit out of it, because the gain itself is not going to last. When loss comes, okay, and then you learn who your true friends are, and you learn what you really need in life. You find that you can do without a lot of the stuff that you used to carry around and think was essential. That's a good lesson. Similarly with status, loss of status, when, when there's praise, you have to look at the intention of the people behind you, behind the praise. Do they want something out of you, or do they simply want you to be better? And if they criticize you, again, you have to look, is there any truth to what they're saying? You may not like the tone of voice, you may not like the way they say it, but is there truth to what they're saying? You've got to be able to pull that out. And if there's nothing of any use at all to it, then you realize, okay, there's you learn something about that person. So there's skillful ways of dealing with all these things. But if we're running after the things we like, we don't really know how to use them properly. We don't know how to use properly the things that we don't like. Same principle applies to pleasure and pain. There are certain pleasures that are perfectly fine, other pleasures that are not so fine. In terms of training the mind. And then there are pains. You can learn from pain, too. So if you see that each of these things offers a lesson, and you're willing to learn the lesson, then you can live in the world without being all scruffed up by the world. Otherwise it runs around, and you run around, and everybody runs into everybody else. In the meantime, everything in the world is getting less and less and less. It's like that vision the Buddha had of all the fish in the pool of water that was drying up. They're fighting over that last little bit of water. And yet they're all going to die. And that's not what we want. We want to find a way out where there's no death. So when you learn how to live in the world, you're not fighting over the world. You're learning how to make the most of it in terms of training your mind. You get out and you show the way to other people, too. That's the best gift you can give them. 